Just do I want to stare at myself? Talking about nothing for the next 25 days. And part of me is like I have every reason in the world to like not be okay. And then there's part of me that's like. Oh, we're getting no plan. Which like is crazy that you literally go from being a child to having children in the same decade. Screaming at people to go vegan. Literally my life. Marriage is not a priority for me. Kids are not a priority for me. Like having my own children. Yeah, all of my energy is going to anxiety. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. <gasps> Delivered today, Bethany. I don't know why being on YouTube freaks me out. That was peak child. Ow! I have vlogged 2013, 2014. I skipped 2015, which is weird because that's the year I graduated from high school. That is weird. 2016, 2017, 2018. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? So I am going to be doing um, Vlogmas. Cassie, we hold this. I didn't think about it. Oh and my not put gosh. your finger in it. This Vlogmas is probably going to be a bit boring. No. I'm gonna be vlogging and uploading a video every day from December 1st to December 25th. Cheers to Vlogmas day one. I have nothing to say anymore. My words are all used up. It's like how I feel about kids. Like I have raised all the kids I need to raise in my life. I'm done. <laughs> Feels like that for you too? No. Oh. Majority of me just wants to leave the internet and never ever return. I just feel so self-absorbed on the internet. <sighs> what is anyone doing with their lives? Well, so maybe I just start with the things that I do know instead of what I don't know. I know that I don't know anything. <laughs> I know that I'm not on this planet for isolation. Happiness is not the goal. People are freaking sad, anxious, depressed, suicidal, and want slash need help. I know that I care about children more than anything, and I don't have as much patience for old people. I know that I cry when I think about siblings being separated or not knowing how to forgive each other. I know that my brain is mush and I literally, the fact like thinking about going back to school right now scares the crap out of me because I have never been more brain dead in my life. And what do I, what am I ever even doing with this arm or this hand? I don't ever know wh where to put it. When I brush my teeth, I literally put it like this on my body. Like what? I feel like when I first moved here, all I was was exhausted. Like I was just so tired. I didn't even give a crap about anything because I was literally just so burnt out, emotionally burnt out, physically, mentally, all the things. I don't feel as burnt out anymore. I feel like my walks like every day really cured that. Like literally walking for an hour and a half every day cured that. Now I just feel confused and like I have nothing important to say. But like a little bit, like I have more energy. I'm less like literally just a zombie. But does it feel hopeless? No, I never felt hope. I never felt hopeless. No, I feel like I'm making things so hard on myself and it's so unnecessary. And I like feel like I don't understand why I can't just like make a decision. Yeah. And that's why I'm like, okay, I'll just go back to school. But then I'm like, why am I going to do that when I don't know if that's what I want to do? And also... It's so expensive and I'm gonna be in so much debt and I, it's gonna take me like 10 years of school. But like I also know that marriage is not a priority for me, kids are not a priority for me, like having my own children. So if I have no desire to have a personal life, like a career is obviously the next move. Yeah, especially since happiness is not my priority. Yeah, it's like how can you gain the most skills and knowledge to make the most help? Yeah, because it's like, okay, I have all the time and motivation and in the world. So like, who can use me? And that's what I think when I was when I was coming out of um, undergrad, that's what I was struggling with the most is like, do I help orphans? Do I help refugees? Do I help families stay together? Do I help people like children with mental disorders, mental illness? Like who do I help parents spectrum? understand their children more? Do I help siblings? Like who needs more help? But then it's like, how can you, how can you define who needs the most help? And part of me is like, I have every reason in the world to like not be okay. And then there's part of me that's like, get it, get it. Leave the swimming in the world to the men.
think so. Okay, so now we need to do the 25 days of giveaways. We need to announce that on Instagram stories. Yep. Post the teaser, post the reel. I want to take all the giveaway photos. We need to look at the calendar. Giveaway winner announced. Wait, what? Giveaway announced. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Should I put new in all caps? Because yes. you were confused. Make a pink. Okay, that's not how you make a pink. Thank you, both in caption. It should be getting here today. <gasps> Delivered today, Bethany! This is why I needed to look. It's not out there. It's not out there. Go look at the mailbox. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. Let's Walker. go check the mail. Nudie, no, should I take you with me? She gets heavy. To the mailbox, Cassie. I promise you. Okay. Sorry, Tootie, I tried to give you more time outside. Your mother doesn't love you. That was. Yes! Okay, let's try to hook it up. I don't know. I'm so excited. This looks a little sus. I feel like maybe this is not gonna work. Oh, it's like kind of a big, I need to this out. All right, let's oh test guys. this out. Anything is happening. Um, hello? It's not gonna be there, Bethany. <laughs> if you call me back one more time, I'm gonna kill you. Oh my gosh, it's windy. <laughs> this is a wide view. Cassie is about to order paper plates. Honestly, the dishes are already stacked and I literally did them last night. I need some hot water because I'm going to make some matcha and then I'm going to run some errands even though I don't want to... Wow, good girl, Mimi. Cassie and Mac bought this like massive two-story house and literally still have their first Christmas tree that they got when you guys lived in, in an apartment. <laughs> It's literally could fit in my pocket. <laughs> oh no, do you think I have a treat in my hand, Moody? Closing out 2021 ah, and 2021 wasn't even a thing. Like, did it even happen? Never. 2020, I feel like was so dramatic and like the start of everything that it still feels like it happened. Yep. 2021 was just like, okay, cool. Now nothing is going on. It's like, just the months after 2020. Literally, did anyone do anything? I'm sure people got married, had babies, did all sorts of things. I did not. Tell me in the comments, what did you do this past year? I literally graduated college in 2020. I have done nothing since. I have started couch surfing. I've been back and forth between here, Texas, Oklahoma, like a thousand times. But like, what is there to do? I feel like this whole Vlogmas Day one, like we need to rebound with some festive cookie baking or something because this is a downer. Is anyone happy right now? Is anyone just living life? Because the vibe here is not a living life. It is surviving. We are happier than this normally. Like I'm, I'm normally super energetic. I'm I'm funny. Cassie's the one who's like grumpy, evil eye. Just my sister. In the morning for two hours. In the morning. In the morning. It lasts until literally four p.m. Anyway, so I'm normally happy, but today all of my energy is going to anxiety and my past vlogging drama. And I'm literally just like, why am I doing this right Your now? Your past vlogging drama, what does that mean? Trauma. What you can expect from Vlogmas, hopefully, is Bethany post-grad life. What is she doing with her life? I'm going to be moving at the end of the month. Spoiler alert. So I've lived here for a year and two months. By the way, Cassie got me this, which is literally like the perfect it's so cute. gift. It literally for says Vlogmas. Bedhead. So cute. I didn't Anyways. get it for her for Vlogmas. When I ordered that, Vlogmas was not on was the table. Was not on the table. <laughs> I know, I feel like I have just not wanted to be on YouTube again because it just freaks me out. I don't know, I just like put too much pressure on myself. Yeah. But I feel like every aspect of my life right now is terrifying. Yeah. And I hate being scared. Of things I hate like not doing something because I'm fearful of it. What makes you scared about YouTube? I don't know. I just feel like I Don't even know if it's like scared But it's like why post more when I did it for literally like a decade and Like is it even worth my time? Is it even useful? Do people care like am I helping someone cuz I yeah I'm so over like it being the Bethany show. You have no idea like I do not care like, I don't care about myself. I'm over it. She cares about herself. She just doesn't care about, like, creating content around Bethany. I do feel like there were points in my life where I could have used someone on the internet saying certain things, and it would have helped me so much. Like, yeah. physically, mentally, emotionally would have just been what I needed. And I feel like at this point, 
like not being on the internet is almost like selfish because it's like why would you not help people yeah with what you've gone through or what you're going through whatever and i my life is a mess right now like it is a literal crap show i don't know what i want to do career wise i have no interest in having a personal life like i don't want kids i don't have any interest in getting married like anytime soon i don't know what career i want yeah and that's okay and i'm totally fine with that yeah. like i feel like i want to tell other people like it's fine it's literally i yeah. need to figure out like how i can help people the most because that's all i want which is the most frustrating thing because first of all i sound like so holier than that <laughs> like who gives crap bethany you want to help people cool but also like i feel like i have little control over it, which is not true but i feel like if i wanted to do something like become a basketball player or like go to the olympics okay that's a clear goal like yeah. i have t i have almost total control over the choices that i make in order to get me there but just having this oh what's your goal in life to help people yeah like that's just so confusing it's too many options available like like i was saying earlier i think i said this on the vlog like who needs the most help and that's like what the paralyzing thing is for me because it's like oh i could help these people over here but then what about these people and I think that 2020 and 2021 just like made that fear of mine of like not helping the people who need help the most, like massive. Yeah. I feel like- And it was all emergency. All of these, yeah, everything was, there was either like a natural disaster happening and you or had like a just, social disaster or political disaster. You had everything. just come out of CASA as well. You would, well, I was still in it, but yeah. Oh, you were still in CASA when mm -hmm. COVID hit? Cassie, I was still in CASA oh, here. yeah. Literally, my case didn't end until- Wow, that's crazy. Okay, yeah. so it was in the middle of CASA. Like six months. You were still in school. Like, yeah, COVID so... hit like two years ago, Cassie. The past year feels like five, <laughs> to be honest. So anyways, it's just been a crap show. And I feel like anyone who has needed to make like a huge life transition in this time, yeah. it's so terrifying because it's like, well, what if something happens? Or what if? And then it's just like information overwhelm. And then you feel like no matter what you do, you're making the wrong decision for a certain group of people. No, not everyone is going to be happy. And then I don't want to be on the internet because I'm like, well, I'm going to get canceled in like literally five minutes if I stand for anything. Like yeah. if you stand for anything on the internet, there is it's an sad. entire group of people that will just automatically hate you mm -hmm. because you fall into a certain category. I think that that's probably where the fear comes in. It's like, I'm not sure of like what I necessarily right want to like stand on what, die on that hill yeah i don't know what yeah. what hill i want to die on and so not knowing it's like well if i just start like screaming for this one thing and then yeah. i'm not that anymore like did i hurt a lot of people in the process or am i just wasting my breath and wasting my time and my mental physical emotional energy that is crazy too just thinking like okay since so you've been vlogging your entire formative years of your life and how much you've changed and like yeah you're a very honest person <laughs> i know and like brutal too yeah like this morning i filmed a clip i'll insert it here got to me in 2017 screaming at people to go vegan <laughs> just absolutely yelling <laughs> triggering i love the idea of veganism yeah and i love what it stands for I also but, think for at the time, it was the right decision. Oh, 100%. I don't regret any of it. Yeah. But I regret, like, how I said it. Like, I feel like... <laughs> I, I, I should be softer in my approach. And that's the gist of my life. <laughs> I think I'm hating on YouTube so much. I love YouTube, okay? That's also why. I have such a love-hate relationship with YouTube. It was literally my saving grace in high school and probably throughout college like I don't even know what I would have done with all of my free time because I literally lived and breathed YouTube and I love having all of those memories even though I never go back and watch the videos because honestly traumatizing I watched them for her <laughs> <Because> <laughs> I, uh, both of my sisters love watching them I'm sure my parents love having them I am just like I've seen too much footage of myself in my life I don't care to sit there and watch more but I'm sure when I'm old and gray I will love looking at them and I'll show all of Cassie's kids and all of Audrey's kids all of our wonderful adventures. Speaking of my siblings, I also, I feel like I'm passionate about talking about siblings, sibling relationships. If you follow our account, me, Cassie, my older sister, um, who I moved in with, by the way, you're gonna see a lot more throughout Vlogmas, but yeah, I live with my brother-in-law and my older sister, and I've lived here for like almost a year, like not quite, 
there's I have a story time for you guys I moved in with roommates did not work out moved out kept paying rent there moved in with Matt and Cassie it was a whole ordeal but anyways another saving grace in my life have been my siblings and I love our relationship so much and like I'm just so grateful for a good family that like cares to be close it's like I think we have more issues and we fight more than any family I know personally but we also care so much more and are like in it to win it like on each other's team till we die forever like way more than other families even starting my youtube channel i feel like that was like my goal was to show people what families can look like we're kind of all in each other's business but it's also made it to where like that is our safety net and that is why we can be so resilient through like really bad crap um and i want that for other people like i want other people to be to feel like they can rely on their family and like be more vulnerable with their with their family so i always like wanted to show our sibling relationship and our, our relationship with our families oh my gosh my disc is full on my computer that's great already vlogmas day one i just feel like people get so caught up in like what is normal or like wanting to be a normal teen and a normal 20 year old and not be best friends with their sister and living on their freaking parents couch and you know what I mean and it's just like who cares like if that is what works for your family at in this season then love it be grateful for it go all in with it like do not be ashamed of where you're at in your life for someone who, who has like ish struggled with that coming out of college being like what am I supposed like what am I supposed to be doing at this point in my life at this age like what are the cultural norms the age norms like where am i supposed to be like what is successful i feel like that all that does is like make people feel bad about themselves or make them chase the wrong things everyone that i talk to that is around my age i'm 25 by the way just compares themselves to or like is looking for that next life goal because so much happens in your 20s like you literally go from high school student to college student to getting like to dating and being an adult to getting married to having kids literally all in like the span of 10 years which like is crazy that you literally go from being a child to having children in the same decade insane do you get yeah. what i'm saying cassie yeah i'm focusing on a project i'm trying to get this done yeah anyway so me guys are doing a thousand things but also i feel like our generation is just so much more self-absorbed but it's like not even our fault because how could you literally how could you not be first of all read the bible and see that since the beginning of time we have all been self-absorbed and like all we care about is ourselves and our family members and like whatever and like our own happiness and we literally have children to make ourselves happy and to have our like what is it called when you legacy yeah oh my god everyone's so obsessed with their legacy and like what they're leaving behind like who freaking cares but, but I also feel like, I don't know what you're going to say next, but I feel like there's a collective, like, we're all hitting a wall at the same time. Yeah, everyone's, everyone's burning out because yeah. we were never meant to be so self-absorbed and so self-reflective. like running so hard at, at such a young age. Like, yes. Um, yeah, it's like people are like, oh, well, when I was, like, old people, oh, when I was your age, I was already doing X, Y, and Z. My dad, dad, you do this all the time. Well, when <laughs> I was, by the time I was your age, I was already having my first kid, like, doing blah, blah, had to be completely financially, like, responsible for, like, three different people, blah, blah, blah. And and it's like, yeah, that's great, but that was your was one job. Yes. That was your one job yeah. was to be financially responsible and to, like, take care of your family. That's great. And, yes, that is so stressful. I can't imagine that type of stress. I'm sure it's a load. But also, our generation just has, like, such a different load on our freaking shoulders. Not only do you have to do all of that, you also have to be somebody. You also have to be somebody, and you have to be someone, like, amazing and great and be the best at what you do, or you're totally embarrassed, and you should go find another career so that you can be the best in whatever you do. I also think that it's taken away the ability for anybody to post on the, inter on the internet has taken away the ability for you to anonymously hone your craft figure out what you want to do and then be horrible awful at it and then get better and then slowly yeah start building now you later. have to either out of the gate be, be amazing, amazing or else you're the laughing stock and you're embarrassed and you don't want to do it so then it just it's like a, yeah it is like uh i don't know not a self-fulfilling prophecy but like a vicious cycle it's horrible honestly what are we doing to ourselves i just feel like okay we're all burning out now and we're all like hating our lives now and anyone who's been doing content creation for more than like a year yeah a year <laughs> knows that like it is it can be so toxic and just like 
like I said, just way too self-reflective. Like you are just in your head to a whole nother extreme. Cause it's like, yes, we all think the earth revolves around us and like everyone in it is just here to please ourselves. Like that is the filter that everyone looks through. Main but, character vibes. Yes, main character vibes. But then you put yourself on the internet to where literally you're getting instant feedback from other people and everyone is technically looking at you and then you're looking at yourself or you're editing yourself. You just overanalyze everything. And it like, was already all that way on YouTube. But now yeah. with TikTok, TikTok it's Instagram, instant. it's just too much. And we're never, like, we're, our brains are just not evolved enough for this crap. And, like, we just can't filter. Like, as much as people are like, oh, hate comments don't matter, getting canceled, like, it's fine. Like, this is literally, like, destroying people's lives and, like, self-image. And, and then people who are watching this happen to other people, it's for sure, like, changing your perspective. And, like, I have never been canceled. I have barely gotten like a handful of hate comments ever on my like literal like nine years on YouTube and, and I still, still am like scared of it yeah. yeah like just watch it's like secondhand trauma like you're watching other people just like lose their livelihood you can for also nothing. say whatever you want about how the internet doesn't matter and all this stuff but it's 2021 the internet freaking matters. oh it matters a ton and like I don't want to be an influencer that is like gag me like that is not that doesn't sound fun for me I don't want that attention but also it's like, is that- Somebody's gonna play the game. So do you yes. trust yourself more or do you trust them with, yes. the, with the public? And like if all, I just think of like when I was growing up watching and I got to watch like Candy Johnson and like Zoella and like these very like wholesome people. If I, all I was watching, which I hear people talk about this and I'm just like, that is what you grew up on. That is your, those are your role models. Um, Jake Paul and- Yeah. Even, what's his face? David Dobrik. David Dobrik. Literally, I can't even remember these people's names. <laughs> people like that were just like hype to the, the extreme. and like epitome of toxicity. Yeah, I'm like, that is who you, this, that is your childhood. That's like, I was growing up on the literal. It's not their childhood. It's their freaking, that's what they. That's what they think other people's lives are like. Yeah. And I'm like, if you think that that's what, anyways, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to say anything. I'm trying to vomit yes. the last like five this years. This is what you're trying you to say. You're trying to time. talk yourself back into getting on YouTube because. Yeah. You trust what you're gonna tell people more than you trust But I don't them. and that is what's freaking me out is I've always trusted myself I have Never not trusted myself in anything I've ever done in my entire life I've always been crazy confident me and Cassie went back and to maybe tomorrow for vlogmas We'll like do some reactions to my old vlogs oh my But gosh. I was the most confident just like said what I wanted to say said what I believed was mm -hmm. fully confident in everything and Didn't edit anything out <laughs> literally just let everybody have it and i for the first time in my life am like not the most confident person on the planet i'm gonna just cry. because i'm like nervous about what i like i'm confident in myself it's not that it's like i'm not confident in what i but believe or like the decisions that i make because everything is on the line and it goes back to cancel culture and like how that shape how that is shaping everyone and how everyone is being burned at the stake for literally anything that they post weird or wrong or not inclusive whether they or whatever to be hateful whether they had the most honest pure genuine like yeah. heartfelt intentions it doesn't matter people will take what they want from it and figure out how to twist it and that crap terrifies me but i hate myself for that terrifying me so i'm like you have to get on the internet because that is stupid that you're letting other people strangers not even strangers and other people you're letting like figments of your imagination things that haven't even happened yet dictate Mm -hmm. what you share and like i just can't live like that so anyways i'm back and i'm living in nashville and it's gonna be fine it's gonna be great i'm so glad she's back guys i'm scared but bad head beth is back is she i feel Long like she, i feel like she has death she has died and resurrected and then died again and halfway resurrected so we're halfway here but it'll be okay Hopefully this helps someone. That's all I freaking care about. Whatever. I just, maybe someone needs to hear this. I don't know. I feel like I needed to hear this. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I'm a hype woman over here. Anyway, therapy session. Therapy. Honestly, I don't understand how people can spend time on TikTok. I get on there and I'm just like, what am I watching right now? I literally no, that is to, the like, opposite cry. of therapy. That is, let's give you some more trauma. Yes. Other people's trauma. Anyone who's dealing with anything, I'm just like, I literally, I was like depressed for like three days. Fully, you guys. I, yeah, there was one girl who I was watching and it was literally like her ED, like recovery journey, but she's like not 
like she's struggling a lot right now I don't even know this girl and I was literally depressed for like four days afterwards I like couldn't cope like I couldn't get myself out of it because I was just like this poor girl like is anyone helping her and it's like the it new tumbler but out. not even like romanticized it's just like this is straight this up is horrible. yeah <laughs> like everyone literally just gets on TikTok and posts like their worst and are like making light of it making fun of it and I'm here for laughing at your trauma and your drama and everything that you need to laugh at to cope but it still like takes a toll and I feel like if I am feeling like that I'm sure a ton of people are feeling like that like they just it's like an open sore just constantly being like acid being poured on it because everyone is going through junk and everyone's like pulling out their childhood trauma and just like throwing it on everyone else and like that's great that you're processing that and like you need to talk about it for sure but I feel like nobody actually is talking to their like real life friends and family members about it everyone's just throwing it on the internet and then everyone else is just taking it in and I like also, are we even solving anything that's here? what I was gonna say I'm not necessarily judging them at all it literally just makes me sad that that, that is people's lives and that is our starting to be our norm just no one has real life friends no one has real life people that they're talking to everyone is just vomiting crap up on the internet and it's scary and I am one of like probably the most isolated people like I, I don't have a ton of friends I move around a ton and I literally haven't had like very close friends well, I've had like a handful of very close friends in the past literally since I graduated high school and I can just see that happening to everyone because everyone is so mobile and also the internet so like you fill that small like lonely void that you need to fill but it's like you're just constantly putting a band-aid over your need for like socialization and closeness and it just freaks me out anyways so I'm just concerned for the planet right now concerned for everyone on it and concerned for ourselves and concerned for myself <laughs> like what am i doing with my life so if you want to watch a train wreck happen watch vlogmas it's gonna be great we're gonna just hopefully i'm not just vomiting on you like i'm talking about these people on tiktok but i i want to show you that like you can work through things and it's fine like you can be a mess and still want to be better and that's fine you don't need to be it doesn't need to be like a full glow up transformation that's how sad i was and look at me now or like a oh my god i thought i was such a cute girl whatever and now look at me at the depths of despair like you can be constantly flowing and moving and on a sliding scale of healthy and okay but not okay it's also a requirement for your mental health to have fun, so don't let... Yeah, I'm the worst at that. I'm the workaholic. I will literally... I always quote The Shining slash Lord um, because that is literally... You just say the quote. Me. You're going to say it with me. All work and no play never made me lose it except for yes it did all in 2020. All day. Keeps me up a level. Literally my life. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you in 24 hours. In the morning. And we'll do something festive, I promise. I'm sorry, this was such a sucky vlog with day one. I hate myself for it, but... It was it where is. we were at. <laughs> it's where I'm at mentally. I did not wake up stoked for a vlog miss but it's fine what? i'm stoked now <laughs> it's okay so much general. we're getting there we're getting there i would like to know i really like holding this i see why tiktokers are like holding these things i feel very official like my childhood self would have been <laughs> all over like the cosplay over here um what do you want to see what questions do you have for me hi it's been three years i have a ton no, of footage. it hasn't seriously it's 2021 and it's the end. it's basically 2022 and I stopped in, in 2019 so like two and a half years wow mm. wow that makes me want to cry also I think I'm 2019 cry oh my before God. Cassie's over. gonna cry every other day Enneagram 4 life every person who tells me that they cry a lot I'm like Enneagram 4 <laughs> <laughs> no I'm like do you, or a do you super really unhealthy <laughs> Enneagram 1 what was I asking you what do you need from me hi I'm here to help I feel like I'm 40 years old and I've got all of the <laughs> <laughs> information i'm like your single old aunt that I'm is here to give true. all the advice so what do you need to know what do you need help with right now i'm here to help and i love you and i've missed you a lot and i have a ton of footage from yeah the past like three years uh that i never uploaded so if you want to see any of that oh, cool let me know we went to New Mexico twice as a family without Cassie because Cassie's a loser and yeah. doesn't even like traveling. I watched the dogs. Like, who is she? 
but I have... That's not true. I don't like... I don't not like traveling. I hate hiking and sweating. Okay, so she's not a fan of New Mexico. I'd love to go to New York, but New Mexico? But... Yeah, just lots of um, random vlogs and stuff like that. We also are doing a giveaway. Um, we're doing like 25 days of giveaways on our Instagram account, at a daily fluff. Follow us. They're and freaking good, you guys. They're really good. Like, really, really like, good. Like, we almost, this morning before we posted, pulled some stuff Pulled out. like literally five things out because we were like, do we need to keep this? Oh, should I save this for tomorrow? What? Or should I end this with something lighthearted? I got something in from Amazon. Oh yeah, some, end with something lighthearted. Also, comment if you guys are burnt out because Bethany is crawling her way out of that and I think she's doing a good job. Crawling, slowly, slowly crawling my way out of But burnout. it seems to be working. And right there My 75 while, hard challenge definitely worked, scary. which is like weird because it's like, oh, that is so unhealthy for some people to be that focused on working out every day, like twice a day, like chugging a gallon of water. <laughs> yeah, that can be like very unhealthy and toxic for some people. Where did I put these earrings? But it can also be so healthy. Like literally being outside every day for an hour and a half cured my depression, you guys. Literally that one single thing helped me so much feel like, oh my God, I'm breathing the air and feeling the ground under my feet. It's gonna be okay. Like the world does not, need me to do anything and that's fine but walk but walk but get from point a to point b oh my god they're tiny i'm a little bit scared what was it? yeah it's a tragus bethany it, that's about as big as it can be old school youtube right here <laughs> get, <laughs> gotta get that hand behind. behind should i try and put it in i bet you my it's ear closed. is closed up please clean that Seriously? Yes, but then your ears probably closed over. Okay. I need you to do this one. Cat. Okay, story time really quick. Wow, this freaking vlog was day one went from minutes. like, I have nothing to film. Um, Cassie literally <laughs> pierced my ear with just like a needle, like a regular needle, up here on my, because I had never seen anyone have a piercing there, so I was like, I'm gonna be so cool. No one's ever <laughs> pierced right here before. It's nowhere crazy, but it's like the top of my ear right here. I had never seen anyone pierce this. This was circa 2011, 12, so there weren't very many photos on Tumblr or Pinterest yet. Not everyone was like piercing every part of their ear. So I thought it was such a cool girl. Cassie we Pierce. We were also from a tiny town. So. We were also from a tiny town, not like New York or California or anything like that. Um, from in Oklahoma, so n like literally everyone had like one, maybe their second hole pierced, and that's it. And the really rebellious girls like did their belly buttons with a safety pin in the bathroom but that wasn't me and cassie pierced my ear with just a needle literally i was like 13 maybe and i slept with the needle in my ear literally like this like it because it went up through it like that so i just literally slept like this with the needle in my ear the entire night so that we could go to the store the next morning and buy an earring that fit because all of our earrings were too thick for the yeah. needle that she used do you even see? No, Cassie, it's like way up here. You see that? Look right there. Oh, you were different. I was so different. Yeah, because who gets their freaking ear pierced right there? You can't even see it. Is it an actual hole? No. <gasps> it's not, it's just skin. No. Yeah, it's just like a scar. Ugh, my nose piercing. I have so many, too many freaking scarred over. And then my third hole on here, I haven't worn earrings in it since I was actually 10 years old. How and they still for... aren't closed up. I can't feel it at all. Yeah. Sweating, hold on. Ow! I guess I think you're piercing the wrong way. No. Oh, it's like halfway in there. Yeah. Like, what is your method here? It feels like you're just like pulling. Uh. Oh yeah, that was some stuff on there. How bad is it hurting? It's really not. It doesn't it's hurt. It's just like you're pull, like pressure. you're yanking. Yeah. You're just leaning away from me. I'm scared. <laughs> Okay, maybe on tomorrow's vlog, miss, this is what we'll do. Repairs Bethany's ear. Ah! Cassie, you're not even looking. You're like, I just know, stabbing my ear. Here. You're bleeding. I'm sweating. Look at my face. <laughs> oh. Poor Cassie gets yelled at for piercing. Oh, my ears you are hurt. you bleaching on my ear. Me. That was bleaching on my hair. That was no. Nasty. I'm saying. I'm not saying this time. I'm saying you I always get yelled be, at. I just want them to be clear. Ah! That really, this is not what Bethany's saying she feels sorry for me for. Okay, so maybe I don't recommend buying $11 earrings. What's 11 divided by 3? Wait, he knows that she knows, but she doesn't know that he knows? 
No, now she knows he knows. <gasps> she knows that he knows, but neither of them are letting each other know that the, each other knows? He didn't let her know that he knows. Ah! Okay, you have to. How, how many good books? Name them. Like, like the 2021 has been my thing. Rainbow Rowl. That was peak child. Report back. Report back in two sentences when you read her response. Wait, is he like some manipulative, like, gaslighting? Okay. It Oh my gosh, he is. This is Twilight 2.0. This is what's going to be in the next episode on each one so that I can just say it naturally.